shit. Let's see what happens with the comments here. Let's see if it even works. Facebook Live has been having little fits today. It's been really, really weird. So I'll wait for the audience to build. I might actually, nah. I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna show the view. But, let's see what happens here. Whoever jumps on, I've been having crazy, crazy issues with my Facebook Live today. So can you please comment um, when you jump on? I haven't been able to see comments, so I need you guys to actually comment um, and see how long the delay goes for. Apologies for the voice too, I'll get to that. But please comment. If there's no comments coming up, I'm gonna have to end the live feed. So I see you jumped on there, Jeff McEwen. Yes. There we go, awesome, awesome, we've got comments. Just did a, a really, really long, Megan, how are you? Great day, absolutely, it was an epic, epic day. Epic, like that. Takes a lot for me to be mind blown or to be really, really, I don't even say awakened or whatever to, to things about myself. Tara, how are you? Live stream, no goes. Yeah, mine's working again, but I just don't want in the group there. How are you, mum? 50 seconds in. Awesome, awesome. This is gold. Still wait for a couple more to jump on. Like I say, my voice is gone. Oh, my selfie stick tripod's going funny, and I just done, myself and Amy, we just done a training in our private group. I call it a training. I just want to drop a tip straight away. You learn something, you teach it straight away. It's a great way to learn it even better. And that's what we did. We come straight back from the event today. And I've just been absolutely f fried. My brain is fried from learning so much today. And there's a lot of simple stuff, simple life stuff. Hank, how are you, brother? What emoji is that? Don't know what that emoji is. <laughs> Tell me what that means, man. I don't know what that means. I love emojis, but... But here's the thing. Going through some of the gold today, you see a lot of stuff on social media and that. A lot of stuff put it out that people say, this is what it is. Oh, I've got some motorbikes going past there. It's a bear, a bear, cool. Event is epic, Jeff. Like, epic, I don't know if you're around, dude. There's another day to go. Anyone in Brisbane area, if you wanna come and get mind blown tomorrow, message me, seriously. And I mean mind blown just about life. I want people to know about what we're doing, yes, of course. Momentum in Brisbane, massive, massive event. Learning a lot more about the company we're aligned with and it's just fucking phenomenal. It really is, it's just a cool concept. It really, really is cool. It's even more cooler today, but you hear a lot and I say a lot out, a lot of people put stuff on social media with quotes and all this sort of thing. But when you sit there like I did today and these quotes just smashed you in the face with some truth, that's when you stand up and take notice. A lot of people don't live that shit, and I stand up and take notice today. There's so many things like 80% of success is showing up, the top 2%, all that sort of stuff here. But if you're doing anything now, if you're doing anything in life now, and you're really driven, if it's something new, if it's network marketing, if it's sales, whatever it is, whatever it is you're doing, you know, fitness industry, whatever, you've got a why for why you're doing it. It's really, really important. Really, really important to why. A lot of people get stuck at this part and they've got no direction in life. Like a lot of people in jobs that they've got no why. Their why is because they want to pay the bills every week that keep coming in. That's their why. So what happens when things get hard? They just exist and go around in a circle. But if you're doing something different to create a legacy or something for your family or for your generations to come or for your people in your environment, that your why is going to be like strong. It's got to be. For me, my why is really, really strong. I'll get to share that one day. It's something my team knows really, really there. And it's not something I just put out all the time because there's a lot of personal stuff in there and it's ever evolving. You get into my team, you're gonna hear all about it, it's what it's about. But stuff today, guys, and throw me some questions. Attach, you've gotta live your why, Jeff. Man, if your why is not strong enough, guess what? If your goal isn't a real goal and you're not attached to your goal or whatever, you're never gonna get there. If your why is not strong enough, you're gonna get challenges, you're gonna stop. Whatever your why is for in life, it doesn't matter what it is, whatever success, whatever you're going for, if your why is not strong enough, you're not gonna get there. Seriously, what do we got here? I'm just, gonna, I'm just going through. This is, this is serious. I different life feed than normal people. I'm just going to go notes, 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 notes. People who are close to me and know me, I'm not a big notes taker, guys. But today, there was so much here that was to do with life. And this word here, myself and Amy put this down. I don't know if you can see that, that word there. 
as Samus Christoffi, if you don't know who that is, fucking phenomenal. Fulfillment, guys. Fulfillment, freedom, whatever you're looking for, time, freedom, whatever it is, spend time with your family, but that word fulfillment come up a lot today. Came up a lot today. Whatever you're doing in life, if you don't know what you're doing it for, if you're doing it just to pay bills, it's fucking bullshit. That doesn't give you fulfillment. When you pay a bill up, it gives you that little warm, fuzzy feeling. Does it really? No. It's like, fuck, I don't want to give my money out of that. Fulfillment is what I'm searching for. It's what so many people are searching for, they don't even really know it. Because they're not doing what they want to do. But like so much in here, if you're in anything, like throw me some questions, guys. I can drop some gold here. It's like some of the stuff here, people are in this for money. Like a big part of my driving force at the moment is for money, but it's possible before paycheck. That's cool. Take whatever you want. <laughs> this is, I love this one. I love this. People in this game, we get rejected all the time or whatever it is, be it sales, networking, whatever it is. But the opinions of others do not pay your bills, guys. Imagine that, and you just walk into every conversation with everything you're doing. Opinions of others do not pay your bills. There's some cool people on here now, there's not many of these, that's okay. But imagine the opinion of someone else who doesn't know what you're going through, doesn't know what you're working towards, doesn't know your why, and their opinion affects you in whatever you're doing, doesn't matter whatever you're doing, most people let that stop them. Most people do. And I've seen that come up heaps today. What I love about this game, about network marketing, it's the truth-telling business. Tell the truth. You have to. Because you either get found out or you succeed. Simple as that. You keep telling the truth, guess what? People who tell the truth show up. A lot of people don't even get to that point. But so much gold in here. And... I've been to a lot of events over the last 18 months, I do, and I love them all, different companies, whatever it is, motivational, um, seminars and stuff like that, but this one has seriously taken it to another level, because it's not about going in, here's our products, and here's this and that, no, because we've got the deal, we've got the absolute deal that we've got full belief in, we don't even have to learn about it all, because it's fucking holidays, wow, as simple as that, but... There's stuff that I've got today that I, I, I sit here and you hear it all the time. The top 2% are the only ones that succeed and things like that. Why? Why do they succeed? Brody, how are you, brother? I think you sent me a message, man. I'm working through crazy messages today. And here it is like 2% win big in life. What's winning big in life? They get to the successes, whatever they want. It doesn't have to be money, whatever it is. The 2% out of people, out of this whole population on the freaking planet, only 2%. That's a crazy start. Because you know why? Most people are afraid of what they haven't got. Most people stop because of fear of things they don't have. They don't believe in themselves. All these other things. How about you flip that around? If you take one thing from this live feed, seriously. If you take just one thing from this live feed, be afraid. Yeah, that's cool. Have fear. Have fear. Be afraid of being average. Seriously. Be afraid of being average. I'm afraid of being average, seriously. I've made some massive changes over the last two years, massive changes. I don't want this to fucking go backwards. I don't know. I'm afraid of being average. What is average? Being normal, whatever it is, just existing. That's one thing you can just take from this live feed, from the ramble that it is, because it's a ramble because I'm just like overloaded with information today. Be afraid of being fucking average. Be afraid of being normal, seriously. If that doesn't drive you, fucking good luck, seriously. There's, there's so much better things in life, guys. I was say, I've just taken in so much notes here, it's crazy. And I've written it down on every page here. It's like, whatever it is you're doing, guys, this applies to anything. Your truth at the time, what you know, whatever, your truth at the time is good enough for whoever you're talking to. We talk a lot about filtering people out of your environment, things like that. Your truth and what you believe in now is good enough for right now. There's, there's more gold there, guys. So whatever you're doing in life, you're just truthful. It's good enough for you. You don't have to make up stories. You don't have to dodge and weave. It's on every page of my notes. And I've got pages of notes here, guys. I could talk about the company specifically and that, but this has been one day of personal development that I'll never forget. That I'll never forget. I've learned a lot with some great mentors over time already, but this today, just on a personal level, I got smashed in the face with so much. What else have we got here? Do, 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 do. Another thing that keeps coming up, another thing that keeps coming up, if you're on a mission or on a journey or whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is, you might already have it, stay strong. Just stay strong, it's as simple as that. Stay strong, whatever comes up. You hear it all the time. If you set out to do something, 
And like I say, the opinions of the others do not pay your bills. They do not. This is simple stuff you hear all the time, but when you hear it over and over and over from people who are talking that have got a result that you want in life, you stand up and take notice. You stand up and take notice when they say it over and over and over again because they know you're sitting there from your lack of knowing. They want you to believe this. They want you to have this. But unless you apply it and follow through with whatever you set yourself out to, it means shit. And that's what I've got today. It's been drummed into me. I might have been sitting there today. I've been slap, slap, slap. My voice is in my head saying, I do it your way, do it your way. No, I'm going to shut up from now on and just play dumb. And just this simple stuff, guys. Whatever it takes. If you set a goal or do whatever it takes, you hear this all the time. But are you willing to do whatever it takes? No. Most of us aren't because we're not in that top 2% yet. It's all simple stuff. Like I say, if you're in the networking game, take it on board. You hear it all before, but guess what? You're going to hear it again and again and again from people who are sitting up there presenting or training that have still got the results that we don't have in life. I'm getting to the point now where if I keep hearing this over and over and over and I don't do anything about it, what's the point of me going through to these things? What's the point of me showing up? There's no fucking point. See, what I want is what they're doing now. And for me to get there, Lee, you're a legend, man. So do you, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But me, I want that, what they want. I want to be able to do what they do. How the hell am I going to get there? I've got to listen to this stuff. I've got to listen to what they do. But I've got to apply it. Why am I doing this live feed now? Because I'm just reading out notes off here. This is me just, just giving you a little bit of gold. We just done like a 45 minute live feed in our group. Because I said to Amy, I said, this is the best way. You want to learn something? Uh, background, background. We've got a couple of the team there. We've got Amy and... We've got Maxine from today, and they've been overloaded with information there, Natasha. So that's what's going on in the background. A bit chilled. No, we're not chilled. It's like 9 o'clock here. It's been a massive day. But like I say, if you want something in life and you're going to events, or you're going to seminars, you, you see a mentor or whatever, you obviously want something what they've got in terms of results. I want to be talking on stage. I want the money in the bank. I want the lifestyle. I want to be going on holidays around the world. I want to be going to volunteers. I want to be contributing. But I've got to do all these simple steps that they're talking about. They're just saying, here you go, there is the ticket. You just got to grab the ticket, read it. That's how you've got to go to get to the destination and apply it. Simple stuff, guys. I'm going to wind it up because I want to go get some food. These ladies want to get some food. That's probably why they're chilled in the background there. Um, but if you want to know anything about this, I'm glad you're on, Jeff. If you want to know any more, what, what is going on here in Brisbane? Why am I so like overloaded with information that is just absolutely amazing? Look at that. Even my little tripod has collapsed there because it's overloaded, because I talk too much. I'm losing my voice. Craziness, but I appreciate everyone being on here, I really do, but it's all about, if you want to know more about this, just ask a question. If you want to know more about anything in life and how people get results, if they've got something, ask the question. Find out, how did they get there? What do they do? There's so many opportunities out there, guys. Whatever it is you're doing, it doesn't even have to be this, because a lot of this, it's not for people, because they're too scared to ask a question, so it's not for you. But if there's something you want in life, you really, really want it, you gotta do whatever it takes to get it, as simple as that. And that means getting out of your comfort zone and asking the questions for the people who got the result that you don't have, fucking do it, simple. Anyway, I'm gonna rock and roll, hungry. Thank you for being on, everyone. Looking forward to questions. We do, Jeff, we do, man, absolutely. This, uh, man, I've got a lot to talk about, a lot. Anyway, good night. I'll be rocking out some more of this stuff tomorrow. I'm not gonna share it all with you because this is all about me. I'm selfish at the moment. No, it's not. Just teaching a little bit, telling a little bit. See you later.